Hello there. With this video, we're going to discuss several dis different examples of solving for the payment size of an ordinary simple annuity. As you can see here, there are really only two formulas for annuities, the first one being the future value and the second one being the present value. The future value, as you can see, has a focal date that is at the end of the annuity. So if we know the future value of an annuity, we can solve for the payment size by solving the equation from the future value formula. The present value has a focal date at the beginning of the annuity, that is one interest period before the first payment is made. If we know the present value or the cash value of an annuity, we can easily solve for the payment size by using the present value formula. You will also note that the BA2 Plus calculator has several functions that will help you in solving for any annuity problem. Some of the functions include PV for present value, PMT for payment size, FV for future value, and N for number of payments. IY is always the nominal interest rate, and in order to access the secondary functions, you can enter the compounding periods per year separately using CY, that's second IY, and you can enter the payments per year by uh, going second function IY again to, uh, to enter payments per year for an annuity. What is important to note is that when you're solving for the payment size, you must first determine whether you need to work with either the present value or the future value formulas. It's one of these two formulas that's going to be critical in helping you solve the problem. And again, a time diagram will be most beneficial to you. Let's begin with example one. A person wishes to accumulate $750,000 for retirement purposes in the next 30 years. Determine the size of the monthly deposit that is needed to reach this goal if their retirement fund earns 9% compounded monthly. Also, how much interest will be earned on this investment? Let's take a close look at the information that we have before us here. We know that we want to accumulate $750,000 in the next 30 years. So we've got a timeline that is 30 years long, 30 years, and that timeline tells us that we wish to accumulate, that's the key word here, $750,000. So that means that the future value is going to be $750,000 at the end of 30 years. We're going to be doing this with monthly deposits over that 30 year time period. So we're going to be making one, two, three, well, there's 12 months in a year, and there's 30 years. That's going to be a total of 360 monthly deposits. So we've got 360 deposits of R dollars, or we'll use the, the PMT symbol for this when we're using our calculators, but for the purposes of this exercise, we'll use R. So we've got an annuity here of regular and equal monthly deposits of R dollars for 30 year time period. Let's draw an annuity bus around this. See we have here payments are made at the end of every month for the 30 year time period. So we've got N is equal to 360 deposits. In addition to this, we also know that the interest rate is 9% compounded monthly, and that translates to, uh, well, a nominal rate of 9% compounded monthly, so that translates to 9% divided by 12 months per year, so 0.09 divided by 12, that means that the interest rate is 0 0.0075 per month. What do you think our focal date is? Our focal date is clearly going to be at the end of the 30 year time period. So let's mark that as our focal date because frankly, that's where we know the future value. So the focal date is at the end of the 30 year time period. That means that the formula that we're going to be using is the future value formula. The future value formula says that the future value FV is equal to the payment size multiplied by the annuity factor for the future value, one plus I to the exponent N minus one divided by the interest rate. And so all we need to do now is to substitute into that formula. So we've got $750,000 is equal to whatever that payment size is or R dollars multiplied by the annuity factor, one plus the interest rate, 1.0075, raised to the exponent 360, that's 360 deposits of PMT, subtract one, divided by 0 0.0075. 
And so now, when you're solving this equation for the variable PMT, or the payment size, you can easily see that you can work out the annuity factor on your calculators, work out the annuity factor, and that number turns out to be 1830.743 and a whole bunch of other digits. Store that number, store it in memory one if you like, because uh, you don't want to have any round off error. So store it in memory one. And then to solve for the payment size, what you're going to be doing is taking the $750,000 and dividing by that recall one, recall that number. So 18, dividing by 1830.743 and all of that other, uh, all of that other display. So the payment size that's required for this annuity works out to be $409 and 67 cents per month. It's important to note how often the payments are made. Now we can round off, now that we have our final answer, we can round it off to the nearest penny. So a monthly deposit of $409.67 will accumulate to $750,000 after 30 years if it earns interest at 9% compounded monthly. Now, the next part of the problem asks us to determine the total interest that is earned on these deposits. Let's see now. Interest is always the difference between the money in and the money out. So the money out is $750,000. How much went in? So in order to determine the interest, let's figure out how much we put into the account. We have put in 360 deposits of uh, $409.67. So that would be 360 multiplied by 409.67. That gives us a total value of $147,000. $481 and 20 cents. So that's the money that went in. The money that came out at the end of the term of the annuity was $750,000. So $750 is the money that's going to come out of the account. In other words, that's the final value of the account. And so the difference between the two, the difference is the interest. And the interest works out to be a total of $602,000 $518.80. That's a lot of interest that's earned over the 30, 30 years. So we've made $147,000 in deposits and we end up with an accumulated value of $750,000. So the total interest that is earned on this investment is just over $600,000.